Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at the basic mechanism for the electrophilic substitution of benzene. We're going to talk about what the electrophilic substitution of benzene actually means, a step-by-step run-through of the general substitution mechanism itself, and briefly explain why benzene reacts in this way. The structure of benzene and specific reactions of benzene and their mechanisms are outlined in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about the mechanism, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Benzene is a cyclic hydrocarbon with a delocalized electron ring from a pi bonding system. Electrophiles are electron pair acceptors. They are usually positively charged and are attracted to areas of high electron density. A substitution reaction is where one group or atom in a molecule is swapped for another group. Recap done, let's go. Benzene reacts with electrophiles and is vulnerable to electrophilic attack. This is because it has a pi bonding system and delocalized electrons that electrophiles are attracted to. The way in which benzene reacts with electrophiles is nearly always the same, and for this level of study, there is only one standard mechanism you need to learn for the reaction of an electrophile with benzene. Once this is understood, your efforts can go into learning how to generate different electrophiles for different reactions. So, electrophiles are attracted to the delocalized electrons in the pi bonding system in benzene. Nucleophiles, or negatively charged species, would be repelled by the delocalized electrons, and this is why benzene will react with electrophiles rather than nucleophiles. Generally, strong electrophiles are needed to react with benzene due to its relative high stability. Let's have a look at what happens when an electrophile reacts with benzene. As the strong electrophile gets close to the molecule, a pair of electrons moves from the delocalized electron system to form a new bond between a carbon atom and the electrophile. This removal of a pair of electrons breaks the delocalized electron system and an intermediate is formed. This broken system is shown as an incomplete circle with a positive charge in the middle. The broken ring starts and ends either side of the carbon that has formed a new bond with the electrophile. A positive charge comes from the fact that the carbon forming the new bond technically gave the delocalized system one electron when the delocalized system formed, meaning when it takes out a pair of electrons to form a new bond with the electrophile, it is effectively taking back the electron for itself and removing another meaning there are now four electrons left in the delocalized system shared out between five carbon atoms. Benzene likes its delocalized electron system. It makes it more stable and this intermediate is very unstable. So to return to a full delocalized system and become stable again, the carbon that made a bond with the electrophile needs to give another pair of electrons back to the broken system almost repaying the delocalized system for two electrons that it stole before. Remember in benzene that each carbon atom is also bonded to a hydrogen atom. This carbon-hydrogen bond can be broken to free up a pair of electrons that can be used to restore the delocalized electron system to its former glory. It is this step that forces the mechanism to follow a substitution rather than an addition reaction, which is what normally happens for electrophiles with unsaturated hydrocarbons like alkenes. So let's have a quick recap. An electrophile approaches benzene. A pair of electrons from the delocalized ring of electrons is used to form a bond between a carbon atom in the ring to the electrophile. This breaks open the ring of delocalized electrons and forms an unstable intermediate. To reform a full ring, the carbon-hydrogen bond on the same carbon as the carbon-electrophile bond breaks. The electron pair is put back into the delocalized system and a H plus ion is removed. The thing causing the reaction to happen is an electrophile, making the reaction electrophilic, and the electrophile is swapped for a hydrogen on a carbon atom making it an electrophilic substitution reaction. Note that in reality, a H plus ion is usually picked up by another species used in the formation of the electrophile. This is shown in more detail for the specific reactions of benzene as outlined in separate videos. See the links in the description below. 
The most important thing to realize for study at this level is that benzene is always going to follow this basic mechanism when reacting with electrophiles. Yes, the electrophiles may be different, and it is the generation of electrophiles that can cause students the most trouble. Don't let the mechanism itself cause you any confusion. Get comfortable with it. So, to summarize, benzene reacts with strong electrophiles in electrophilic substitution reactions. An electrophile is swapped for a hydrogen atom bonded to a carbon atom. The electrophile is attracted to the delocalized electron system in benzene, and a pair of electrons from the system is used to form a bond between a carbon atom and the electrophile. To reform the full ring of delocalized electrons, carbon-hydrogen bond breaks, and the electrons from the bond move into the delocalized system. This step forces the reaction to proceed as a substitution reaction. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.